We're in Windows Server 2019, and I'm going to show you the two different ways to enable remote desktop. So we need to start by going into Control Panel. So we'll just right-click, go to Search, and type in Control Panel. And there it is. We'll go to System, Remote Settings, and then make sure it says allow remote desktop connections or allow remote connections to this computer. Now, if you have the box underneath it checked, it means that only computers that are going to be members of the domain will be able to connect to it. But if you uncheck it, that means you can connect from computers that are not members of the domain. So it just depends on what you want to do security-wise. When you're done, just go ahead and click OK. Now, after they come out of beta for Windows Server 2019, there's a new way to enable remote desktop. So if you no longer see the system icon remote settings link, it's because Microsoft has made that change. So go ahead and click on the Start button, click on the Settings icon, and then you're going to click on System. When you're in System, you scroll down to where it says Remote Desktop, and here's where you enable Remote Desktop. Now at this time in beta, if you click on Enable Disable, it doesn't actually do anything. But very soon in the near future, you're going to be able to enable and disable from there, and also select users that can access the PC remotely. So that's how you enable Windows Server 2019 Remote Desktop in both the old way through Control Panel System and the new way through the Settings System icons.